Hey, 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 hey. All right, people, welcome, welcome again to MG Sports TV. Now, mm, before I do anything, people, I'm going to play something so you guys can listen. Let, 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 let me play something so you guys can hear what the, the main reason right here. So I won't waste any, any one of your time. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do this a short video. Let's, a lot let's of play. the players listen. out here, they are very talented. You know, no one can take that away from them. But honestly speaking, I don't think a lot of them are motivated. They would like to get contracts, but they don't want to do the work. And, and the discipline aspect of it is a big part. You know, turning up to training on time, putting in the work, believing in themselves. You know, the whole nine yards you have to do to become a professional. I think that is like with some of them but the talent is here all right so that there people is former reggae boy rudolf austin now currently playing at portman united as a defender central defensive midfielder but now he's playing he's been deployed as a defender now we all know this is not nothing new this is not nothing new now rudolf austin who have played at a high level of football for many many years let me just read a small part of the article um Port united midfielder rudolph austin says while jamaica players are immensely talented several of them lack one key ingredient to enjoy success outside of jamaica discipline 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 austin recently returned to Port united where he started in 2005 after playing in europe for 13 years 13 years people interesting stuff really really interesting now talent wise coming from Aston Mount who have been amongst the elites of the elites Jamaican player has it but discipline is a big big factor now let me show you how discipline impact player now in Jamaica one thing for sure we will party nothing's wrong with that but are we training enough you have players who are living certain lifestyle lives you have players who party every night um all is up and about but are they professional enough to really kickstart their career and is that a case or is the discipline issue the reason why we are not seeing some of these players who are transitioning from jamaica to the highest level be consistent at that level we have seen it time and time again players leave jamaica go to the usl go to the mls go in some deep league in the um we call it the european region and they end up right back in jamaica is that the reason why we're seeing um so much of this discipline let's so let, let me show you how the discipline come in factor with all these aspects now one training could it be a case in which these players don't like to train as rudolph Asin said in 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 the interview these players don't like to train they do not want to train just the smallest aspect of, of being disciplined in train in your training they don't want to train big issue big big issue he just said it. big big issue you have many players who do not like to train and let me tell you something if you want to be an elite athlete you must love training training should become like drinking water it should become like drinking water you have players who are not disciplined with their eating habits where they eat out of proportion, put on a lot of weight, big belly, soft, and that imp uh, impacts them. Training, uh, discipline in training, discipline in hygiene, discipline in eating. There's so much factors. Also, discipline where it's co where concerned, just being in and around your team, in the dressing room, how you operate, are you a team player? Um, do you show any, any form of um, any lack of descent? These are the aspects in which. It, it, it really really imp uh, impacts most of these players especially in jamaica and we're seeing it um i've seen situation where players have lose a game and for some reason no one at all can talk to them no one they don't want to say and that even the coach don't want to talk to them that's discipline that is discipline yes you lost the game but you have to have to have some level of self control you must have some level of self-control if you're going to be that exposed um impulsive it means you can do anything you you, are, you have no level of control so these are the smaller aspects and this is the reason why our football is taking so long to reach at a particular level this is the reason why some of our players are finding it so difficult in advancing their career even outside of jamaica even advancing their career 
inside of Jamaica. And if it's so difficult for you to become a better player, it's going to be difficult for you to even make it to the highest level. Or it's a case in which you just don't want to go to that level. And if you're playing football and you don't want to hit that, go at the highest level, something must be wrong. <laughs> That's some, something, must, something must be wrong if you're playing football and you don't want to go to the highest level. Something must be wrong. So these are facts. You must... Um, my, my, my plea to all Jamaican players, apply discipline in your diet, in your lifestyle, in your football, in IQ. Try and learn. Get, 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 get some knowledge. Try and seek some knowledge. YouTube is one of the biggest learning spaces available to anyone. You don't even have to go to college to learn what you can learn on YouTube. Learn the smaller aspect, the tactical aspect of the game. Be disciplined. If you love the game, be disciplined. Try your best <clears throat> to promote yourself. Promote yourself. Be the best person of yourself. Be the best version of yourself. So these are these are the aspects that Austin is, is kind of highlighting that you don't want to train. You turn up the training late. Um, you're not adhering to even the rest period. Um, you're injured and you're still out and about going to parties, going to this and that. These are the aspects. These are the smaller details that separate a professional player from someone who is just idling their way in the, in, in, in the sport and think or believe that they are um, a, 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 an athlete. It takes real hard work to be a super athlete. Real, real hard work to be a super athlete. And the main, the main point of that is the mere fact of just being disciplined. You have to be disciplined in how you operate your carry yourself. You have to be disciplined in the dressing room. You have to be disciplined in the eating habits as mentioned earlier. You have to be disciplined when we taking instructions from the coach. You have to be disciplined with all these things. And that is how you're going to hit at the highest level. There are hungry young players who are trying their best. And you being in discipline, it also affects the younger generation because they said, hey, that's how you're living. And that means nothing is wrong if I live that way. So it's, it foster that environment of everyone operating the same. Just And it's not, it's not good. Uh, so I'm pleading to all the Jamaican players. I'm pleading to all the, the Premier League players. Garner some discipline. This Rudolf Austin is a senior, senior player. And if he's, he, and if he's highlighting that this is an issue in 2023 in Jamaican football, it means that we are actually taking our foot back. We are taking huge, huge step backward. And you can see that people are trying to see how best they can improve the product. And you also as players have to do the same in trying to improve the product. And that is how it is. That's a part of it. Anyways, people. Anyways, people, anyways, anyways, definitely, um, let me drop this before, 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 before we get to that, that um, just, just interruption, interruption, small interruption, interruption guys, guys, please do remember to follow our Patreon, Patreon account, the Patreon link will be in the pinned comment section, in, well, in the comment section, and also, it's in the description, it's in the description, for the Patreon is a way to support the program, help us to grow, and also to provide more, um, coverage for you guys. It will help with assist the channel, getting equipment and all these factors. And on the Patreon, you're not just signing up to say you're just signing up sake. You will get behind the scenes uh, uh, um, um, coverages, coverage of Premier League games, coverage of um, any little thing, even match day vlogs from me. And also things that most persons, the other persons wouldn't see. So that's important. That's the reason for Patreon. So guys, please um, support our Patreon people. It will help us to grow. We want to get some more persons on the channel. We also want to get some more persons. All right, people. So anyways, people, take care of yourself. And I'll see you guys again next time. Until then, people, MG Sports TV. And we are out. Boom. Let's go. Hey, hey. Hey.